Hello, welcome to Critical Geeknet. Today we're going to be reviewing the Triple. This is actually a travel, a travel pillow. It's also a Kickstarter, as most of the stuff that I review. You can get this, of course, in their site and everything. It's not that it's going to be Kickstarter exclusive. I, I will try not to review any, any Kickstarter exclusive products because, of course, that would be pointless as you cannot get the product itself. So, this is a Triple. Uh, as usual, we're going to go through the material, design, a construction functionality and of course at the end my final conclusions of this uh, out of the bat let me tell you this is something different definitely is way way more than I expected to be honest and I I was gladly I was gladly impressed by this by this little pillow here so let's start with the pros first of the materials and the design um, as usual, you will see me going down here because, well, those are my notes and I also record the audio apart from the video so that you have a better experience with the audio. Anyway, so they let's give a little bit of context here. Triple is a Kickstarter that was done like almost a year ago. It was around October or something like that. The purpose or the concept of the pillow is that it has a very memory foamy or low density foamy uh, layer and then on the inside it has a super high density layer which makes it sturdy enough that you can actually fall onto it but also at the same time keep yourself comfortable when you're sleeping without you know this way you don't cramp your neck this is 100% true they actually send you a little piece of the material on the pillow I don't know if they will do that with the rest of the pillows, but at least if you got it on the Kickstarter, you probably got a piece of the material where they show you uh, what's the inner layer and what's external layer. The external layer is more like a memory foam type of foam, and then the interior layer is more like a super high density foam, the kind of foam that you find in... It almost feels like house insulation. If you live in the US, you know what I'm talking about. It's just like super dense and not really easy to to crumble or to to compress, but still flexible enough that you can do something like this. So that's really nice. Uh, it 100% delivers of that. The shell is readable and it's also elastic. So that's really good when you're trying to put the shell back in. The shell is removable. We'll talk about that. The color of the pillow is also great. Is gray, but is that gray that on the inside is actually darker on the outside is, is lighter, but is is that gray that you don't actually see it when it's a little bit of uh, when there's a little bit of dirt on it. So that's really good, especially if you're doing like long travel distances, then it will probably get dirty at some point. You know, rubbing against your neck all the time is probably going to get dirty. So this way it won't be as noticeable. So it won't just look disgusting and then you can wash the shell once you get to your hotel or whatever. Uh, the other really good part about the color is that this particular color is so light that it doesn't absorb uh, light that, that much. If you have a black pillow or something like that, like one of the darker colors and you're in a road trip or something like that where you are actually next to a window, it will absorb a lot of heat just by the color. This one is light, so this color won't absorb as much heat. It still will get warm, of course, if you're in a car, you know, leaning against a window or something like that, but it's much better than this being black or something like that. So even though it loses points for style for not offering a black pillow, I think this color is perfect for the purpose of the pillow. Uh, the purpose, the, the actual pillow by itself, it comes double shelled. So you have the soft exterior material, which is a breathable material, and then you have the in, the inside material, and then the inside material is actually covered by an additional layer of fabric. Uh, that one is not removable. This one is removable. So you never even come in contact with the inner materials, unless you take a look at the, you know, the little sample that they send you if they still send you so don't don't hold my word for it uh, oh the other one is it has a great range of adjustability so you can put it like this if you need to move your head a little bit or just you know go like this for when you are actually going to use the pillow to rest 
something like this that probably will look awful in the video it's like a triple chin or something like that um okay so those are the pros of the construction now let's go with the cons so the seams on this one they are not double seams they are single seams i don't know if you can see it you probably won't be able to see it but they are single seams which means that they hold the fabric just like this instead of going like this and then on the inside having another one so this will at some point they will give if you see at the at this uh, this this is like the bag where it came in this one is already start, starting to pull a little bit and i haven't really used it that much but you know it is what it is it's at, at the end it's a mass-produced product so they need to cut coast and corner some somewhere and that probably was way more expensive if you do a double seam or you change for a different type of <coughs> of seam or something like that i don't know but i'm pretty sure they have the reasons it hasn't broken so far so you know it hasn't ripped or anything like that neither has the back but i'm pretty sure that at some point it will is just how long it will that take i don't know you can see the seam here really really well actually so you see that it's just a single seam it usually double seam means that instead of having this it goes like this like a spiral instead of just like a, a straight line so uh, the material for the bag is very thin nylon i i don't really like it it has a very plasticky feeling and it started to give immediately like these these seams they immediately started to give i don't really like that the it comes with a plastic carabiner this one right here so it's this one is kind of hard to maneuver when you're in a rush or something like that because it's one of those that you have to press and then force it into whatever just get a regular carabiner one of these you'll be fine it hooks in the same loops and everything this is a quick fix this you know it affects nothing and this will improve the quality of life a lot for you when you're using this pillow i don't like the branding on the triple <coughs> i don't like the branding on the back it's a little bit too big and in your face and i don't like the branding in the pillow itself well the the shell of the pillow itself i think this is um it's too much in your face. I would have liked this to be black or maybe a darker gray. And yeah, keep the logo in there and keep your letters in there, but don't make it as noticeable because this, this green is obviously, green with white is obviously like, see me, this is my brand. I, I want you to see me. So that's a little bit too much on your face. I would have liked this to be a little more discreet, but you know, they, they have to advertise themselves. So I understand it, but I don't like it. <laughs> okay now let's go to the functionality and the features this holds your head vertically perfectly like what they promised in the campaign is exactly what they delivered if i put it like this and i just adjust it all the way up i fall down like this i'm not actually my chin will not be able to go further from here if i go to the sides yeah it has a little bit of motion but it's not enough that you will start to get the cramp or torticulis or, you know, you will pull your neck. So that's absolutely like 100% that was delivered. Kudos to the triple team. They absolutely knocked it out of the part on the on the design or at least the materials of the, of the pillow. Uh, the removable cover is super easy to remove and wash, and wash, sorry. So you remove it, put it in the washing machine, put it back. This is also elastic. So it's actually easy to take it up, <coughs> to take it off and put it on. It's super easy. So great job in that. Uh, mm, oh yeah, these ones. So I don't know if you can see, you probably can, but in here, in this part, you have some groups in there. So these groups actually are allow for breathability on the back of your neck. It gets really warm when you're wearing it for longer periods of time. So having those like groups in there really helps with readability and, and just keeping you a little bit cooler than what you would be otherwise. Um, oh, so 
you don't actually need to remove these between flights. If you're having like a long flight to China or something like that, you won't need to ever remove this, ever. Like, just, just keep it on. There's absolutely no point for you to remove it unless you're going through customs again or something like that, you know, checking in in a different flight or something like that. That's the only point where you would realistically remove it. And not even then, because none of the materials in this pillow are actually forbidden for you to board. So you can just put it in and forget about it. And that's freaking great. I love that. Um, <laughs> no, okay. So one of the things that they show in the campaign is that you can do it like this and just make it like a really tight roll, which you can, but this actually requires a lot of effort and, you know, to be able to just sit down maybe in a surface and fold the pillow and put it back in there. That doesn't matter though, because the bag that is included, it fits the pillow even if it's not fully folded. Like you can just put it there hastily and it will still fill the pillow and it will still fulfill the requirement of, you know, just keeping the pillow away from the rest of your stuff. So even though it's really hard to fold it, the bag makes up for it, so that's great. This is very light as well. It is way less cumbersome than a regular neck pillow. Neck pillows are usually super thick and they try to do this kind of like super mushy fabrics to keep them, to make you feel like comfortable and cozy, but that actually has the opposite effect. If you have these pillows around your neck, they will just start to warm you up and you will, be, and you will just feel encumbered. This one has none of that. So that's great. Uh, okay, yeah, feels real fresh about your neck. I really, I already talked about that. Oh, one thing that I use for, and this is just me personally, this is not medical advice, this isn't, you know, don't take my word for it. Don't, this is completely of you on, on you if you try it. But what I did one time, I pulled my neck one time. So I was having some issues uh, maneuvering around the house because I need to do some stuff and when you have a pulled neck you can you, you move like a robot basically and you want you want to ease the tension in this part of your neck so what I did is I just pull it I just I just put it on like this entire day and I was just like this and it actually helped me a lot again don't hold my word for it don't this is not medical advice I'm not telling you like this is a substitute for <clears throat> any kind of, of, of medical device that you might be using or something like that. But just just giving you a, a you know, share my personal experience when I was using this pillow. Okay, now into the cons. So the back part of the pillow is a little bit too thick. It is thin enough that it's not terrible, but it's not thin enough that it will allow you to rest on it. So, yeah it's once you get into the plane and you recline your seat you will be fine but until that moment happens this part is a little bit thick this might be uh there might actually be like a structural integrity issue or something like that but if you can make it thinner on the next iteration you know triple that would be great but yeah that's that's one of that uh the roll part i already mentioned that um, and that's about it. Yeah, it, it doesn't have a lot of cons really. It's more, the cons were more into like the design and that kind of stuff. The actual usage of the pillow, it delivers exactly what you want. So now into my final conclusion. So this is a great product. It delivers exactly what it promises. It's a great option to regular travelers. Like, absolutely. If you're a regular traveler, you should probably get one of these pillows. They are really good. I think they are going around 40 bucks or something like that with shipping. So that's... I, I really recommend that you get one of these pillows if you, are, if you are traveling a lot. Because, trust me, this will definitely help ease your, your traveling. Uh, also, for road trips. This pillow is great for road trips. If you just put it in your car and just leave it there, Whenever you're going to do a long road trip or you're with a friend or something like that, and maybe this guy needs, you know, it's completely hammered and he, 
just needs to rest put the pillow around him click it in and and you'll be done with it <laughs> it's it's really good i think i think i like it more for even road trips and that kind of stuff than even for planes it's great for planes don't get me wrong planes is awesome but road trips since your neck is actually like dancing around because you're moving in the car this one is great so get one if you if you want if you're planning to do a long road trip with your significant other or something get one of these trust me they will they will really appreciate it um the other part there is a sizing chart and the sizing chart is very important that you follow it because there is a real difference between the large the medium and the small so the small is more for like kids the medium one is for people that is uh, you know, around my build, something like that. And the large one is for people that bought bodybuilders or a little bit of bigger people. So it's very important that you follow the sizing chart because it makes a difference a lot. Uh, the small one was way too small. I ordered a small one as well just to test it. Uh, but the this, this small one was actually really small. Uh, it is obviously designed for a different neck. I'm pretty sure the large one is going to be way too big for me. So make sure that you follow the sizing chart that they have on the side. That's very important. And that's it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please click the like button if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more reviews. You know, it's usually Kickstarter products, so you will see a lot of reviews in here. I'm also a maker, so you will probably see some maker videos in there as well. But anyway, most of the of the channel is just going to be reviews of Kickstarter products. So thanks for watching and have a great day.